is Maurice Hong. I'm the Director of Business Development in MDS Technology. Today, I'm going to introduce you Arial IoT SoC development platform that we collaborate with Faraday, a leading ASIC design service company. We are pleased to work with Faraday and offer our RISPI CPU core for Arial SoC platform. According to Faraday's information, the Arial SoC is built on UMC 40 nanometer ULP logic process. Compared with its predecessor, this platform demonstrates a 35% reduction in operating power, driving lower power consumption in SoC designs for use in ILT, wearables, and portable devices. Arial platform features and this N25 RISPI core, one megabyte embedded flash, USB OTG, ADC and DAC, built-in security, and comprehensive SDK support. In addition, DVFS management is implemented to achieve high performance or low power state. In this video. I will explain important features, tell you more about Andy's tools you need, and give you a couple of quick demonstrations. Let's first take a look at the development platform. The full set combines one IoT sensor gateway and two sensor nodes. In this video, we will focus on IoT sensor gateway platform, where it contains area SOC. Let's take a closer look at some of the important features and functionality of this board. LCD display with touch function, Wi-Fi and BOE module underneath the display. Pressure sensor, temperature sensor, gesture sensor, USB OTG, UR port, ICE interface, and we have mounted Aerial SOC device. Okay, let's talk about development environment. And this site provides comprehensive tools and features for programmers. User friendly Eclipse based IDE with Andy's 15 years expertise. Available for free download for evaluation on simulator and APGA. Support Windows and Linux operating system. Content in intensive uh, startup, demo, and free autos projects. It's also available for redistribution project. I have already set up the environment and it's ready to develop programs in our IDE ND site. This is the user interface of ND site. Let's click diagnostic button to make sure the successful connection to the platform. Okay, Iceman tool is connected to the core and the architecture ID, which is CPU ID. Join this is N25F CPU. Now we can run one of XDK examples to test CPU. Build the project N25F CPU and debug. This is the UR console showing the test menu. Let's press zero to show cache information. Those values are read from configuration CSR. There are other tests in this example program. For the second demo, I will show you DVFS management by using JPEG decode and the gesture control. Let's launch the app or photo to start JPEG decode. CPU is currently running at 24 MHz. The period of decode time is around 1 or 2 seconds, depending on the amount of data. When I swipe my hands to up, that will increase CPU frequency to 144 MHz. This is achieved by DVFS implementation. The period of echo time is reduced to around 0.15 or 0.3 seconds. The performance is improved 6 times better. 
This was an overview of Arial SOC development platform. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found it very useful. If you have further questions, head over to Faraday website for Arial SOC and Andy's website for CPU information. Contact us to see how Andy's response CPU IP can help you develop SOC products and any further collaboration.